Herzlich willkommen, liebe Zuschauer, hier auf Klagemord. Ladies and Gentlemen, it would be the task of the media to report on all events that are of importance to the population. Hereby, the media coverage would be required to be comprehensive, objective, critical, and most importantly, impartial. Today, this task is being fulfilled by the mass media only very rarely. To compensate for this painful lack of information, more and more educational movements are shaping to have their own say. But more frequently, groups of citizens are also getting involved in warning about this abuse during educational events, demonstrations and vigils. Like this also in the north of Bavaria, where a demonstration against fracking has been held. What it is and why it drives people there to the streets, you will learn from our reporter on site. A hearty thanks to the studio Nuremberg. I'm here at the Market Square in Weiden, a community of about 42,000 inhabitants in the Oberpfalz, about 100 kilometers east of Nuremberg. Weiden is surrounded by a region of about 2,600 square kilometers for which a British company has received the permission to look for possible natural gas reserves. Here gathered around 100 people in order to point out the dangers of fracking to the population. Fracking stands for hydraulic fractioning. Worldwide, this process for obtaining natural gas from deep shale layers is extremely controversial. In thousands of meters, deep holes are being drilled into the rock layers. Subsequently, a liquid enriched with highly toxic chemicals is being pumped into the rock layers with high pressure. By doing this, the rock layers are breaking open and the containing gas can be released and availed. Critics fear a poisoning of the groundwater caused by the released gases. In addition, they are noting that the risk for potential earthquakes in these regions is significantly higher. With drums, whistles and vehement chants, the more than 100 concerned citizens are marching through Weiden. Their messages are being conveyed through large banners, which they carry around the city. Some banners are reading, media, we are need, completely banned fracking now, or fracking would be very quickly ended if the media would tell the truth. The demonstrators couldn't be any more mixed. Young and old, individuals and whole families seem to be represented. At a rally, an eyewitness reports about the problems in her native Romania, where, in spite of the strongly opposed population, uh, fracking has been applied extensively in several areas. As a result, the groundwater has been poisoned in many regions. It's no longer drinkable, drinkable nor can it be given to animals, and it cannot even be used for cleaning. In one of the counties, there were several earthquakes in a single day. The houses obtained cracks. We could not supply our animals with water, not shower, nor do laundry. People filmed the drilling towers with their home cameras, and the connection was soon made that this was the reason for the earthquakes. The initiator of today's demonstration, a local resident from nearby, addressed his complaints especially towards politicians and the media. They would not point out sufficiently to the people the enormous risks of this procedure. If the media would report in an appropriate manner, people would be outraged. The foundation would be laid to halt this type of gas extraction by lawful rules in time. And with this, I return back to the studio in Nuremberg. Many thanks to Weiden. Once again, politics and the media are being asked to take the public's concerns seriously. If the media continues to understand themselves primarily as a propaganda tool of the petroleum, pharmaceutic and other industries, then it can be expected that similar examples will become widely known. Then, in many places, concerned citizens will take their matters into their own hands again to clearly state their claims to politics and the media and push through their democratic rights. And with this, we say goodbye and wish you a good evening.